It's on a little hallway, um, making an entrance to go into a basement into a house in D.C. And one of the walls collapsed, and the bricks from that wall fell onto him and made him slam into the next wall, which gave him the blood clot. And it actually fractured the back part of his skull back here. And for a while, he, he couldn't hear out of his one ear, and... Um, he was cross-eyed for a while, but that got better. <laughs> the bricks listed under in the hospital as a John Doe, and we couldn't find him for I couldn't find him for a while that that day, and it was kind of scary because he was unconscious when he came in, and nobody gave anybody any doctors his name, and I didn't know it was that severe. I thought he maybe broke a leg or an arm or something, and here he had to have half his skull taken off. They put, they took that part of his, the bone flap off of that skull so the swelling could go down and they put the, um, the drain in his brain and they put that piece in his, um, they made an incision in his abdomen and put it there so um, they could keep the, the bone alive so they could later put it back on while the swelling went down. And